Tensions are rising over the proposal of the AHCA across the nation. Cronkite News reporter McKenna Delgarno tells us how the change could affect people here in the Valley. If the AHCA is passed, Arizonans with and without insurance could be affected. I talked to ASU School for the Science of Healthcare Delivery about what people can expect. There are currently 1.9 million people that are covered by Medicaid in Arizona. 400,000 of those people are covered through the expansion of the Affordable Care Act. If the ACA is repealed, this number would diminish. We would not be covering any new participants in Medicaid expansion, and the ones that are already covered through expansion uh, would only be able to maintain coverage if they continue to be eligible. Swapna Reddy, a clinical assistant professor at ASU, says hospitals have their concerns with the repeal. Most of the hospital systems in Arizona and across the United States um, are not particularly supportive of this bill because they're very concerned about increasing the number of uninsured in the United States. If a patient can't pay for their medical services because they don't have insurance, then unfortunately it comes out of the taxpayer's wallet. The Congressional Budget Office says that those who have insurance could expect to see a 20% increase in their premiums as well. The way that premiums actually rise is when you have less people, especially less healthy people in the insurance marketplace, um, the overall cost for care increase. This affects not only adults, but children as well. 125,000 Arizona children could lose coverage to the loss of kids care or Medicaid too. If Arizona loses federal funding for Medicaid, Reddy says the question becomes, where will this money come from? McKenna Delgarno, Cronkite News.